Solving a word problem using a system of linear equations of the form y equals mx plus b, example two. So our problem here says Henry will rent a car for the weekend. He can choose one of two plans. The first plan has an initial fee of $50 and costs an additional 30 cents per mile driven. The second plan has no initial fee but costs 80 cents per mile driven. So since I'm dealing with information that has a start value and then adding or subtracting a per mile amount, I know I'm going to be setting up equations in slope intercept form. So the first plan, if I write a, an equation to represent the first plan, the total cost of the plan would be equal to the initial fee of $50 plus 30 cents for every mile driven. So 0 0.30 per mile. The cost of the second plan could be represented in an equation that is cost is equal to, now there's no initial fee, so I only have the 80 cents per mile driven. using m for the number of miles. Now, this first part of the problem says, for what amount of driving do the two plants cost the same? So if the cost is the same for both plans, then I can rewrite a new equation that just sets both of these expressions equal to each other. I want to know when the first plan is equal to the cost of the second plan. So 50 plus 0.3m, I want to know when that is equal to 0.80m. And then I'm just going to go ahead and solve. So since I have variable terms or m terms on both sides, I need to zero out one of them or eliminate one of them. So I'm going to subtract 0.3 from both sides. 0.3m, that is. And when I simplify, I'll be left with 50 on the left is equal to 0.50m on the right. Still trying to get the m by itself. So my next step would be to divide both sides by 0.50. And then when I simplify, on the left, I'm going to have 50 divided by 0.5, which is 100, is equal to, and the only thing I have left on the right is m. So I know when, I ha when I'm at 100 miles, the two plans will cost the same. Now the next part of the question says, what is the cost when the two plans cost the same? So I can use either one of these two equations because I know that they're going to cost the same just to figure out what the C value or the cost is. So I'm just going to use this bottom one here because uh, it just looks a little simpler. But I have 0 0.80 times and then the M that I'm wondering about is 100 or I want to know what the cost is when my miles are 100. So I'm going to substitute 100 in right there. So if I do 0.8 times 100, that's going to give me a cost of $80, or C equals 80. So the cost when the two plans are the same would be $80.